I want to sketch as to what the future scenario is going to be so that you can absorb the messages which will come out of this changing dynamics of the global economy. Unlike the previous episodes of agricultural revolution, industrial revolution, which characterize up to the 20th century, the 21st century is going to be a knowledge economy. The countries which combine first-rate human capital, and the word human capital is very significant for your consideration, because so far the emphasis has been on financial capital, as if finances and money can do everything. This has been proven wrong. It is the combination of human capital and technological advances which is responsible for knowledge economy which will characterize the 21st century. And the countries which prepare themselves and their generation, the younger generations, to accept this challenge will go ahead and do much better. It's not oil, it is not gas, it is not minerals, it is not natural resources, however rich you may be, that is going to make a difference. It is how much you invest in your human beings and how they use the technological tools in order to improve the living standards of the people. That is what the 21st century is going to be. So where do we start? We start from schools. And I would argue before you that the best return for your human capital is by starting with the science and mathematics right from the school, elementary school, secondary school, higher secondary school, all the way up. This is called STEM education. And the countries which have excelled in STEM education have been the best performers. China was way behind in producing STEM graduates till almost 2000. Today, China produces more than twice the STEM graduates of the United States of America. 50% of the engineering and mathematics and science degrees in PhD from the top universities belong to Chinese, Indians, Vietnamese, Japanese, Koreans. And look at where they are. But it is now our responsibility to make them mandatory subjects right from the beginning.